Welcome back, everybody. Cliff again, back at you with defending in the hedgerows. We've been consolidating our position. We've been on the ground for almost a month, getting to know each other. The Germans are getting ready to counterattack. It's been anticipated, so Company Command has given us some weaponry to play with, which is never a good sign. I've got a bad feeling about this. So our group now, we've got everybody together. We've got Sergeant Mad Dog Merrill, our illustrious leader, and our senior doc, Strickland. They're our two oldest soldiers, and the people mostly look up to them. We've got Ross, Rocky Mortel. We've got Baxter, B-Man. He's Baxter, Ian Baker with a Browning. He's definitely B-Man. We've got Amos, Boxcars, because he likes to play craps with the guys when we're not on the line. And he also tends to roll kind of high. We've got Sharp, which we just call Red, because he's got red hair in my world. And he's also from Cincinnati. Got Cowboy, we know, all know of his exploits. We've got Hollywood, O'Brien. Oh, yeah, Hollywood from L.A. Got Killer Sheehan. We don't know yet if he's a lady killer or a German killer. We shall see. We got Buck. We got Bucko. Cookie from Louisiana, who's now a driver. And me, Thumper, because I tend to get nervous and thump my leg a bit, like Thumper from Bambi, but also hoping to develop my rifle grenade skills here if I don't kill myself off. We've been given a bazooka, oh dear, and two MG, um, two 1919s. And this is nighttime, so we're going to get some flares. So, first things first, we're going to get this set up. I'll t pause this. You won't be able to tell, and I'll come back and play the first turn this afternoon. So, anyhow, it's night. The first thing we need to do is determine our visibility. That's a D6 plus 2. 5 plus 2 is 7. I make this little marker to help me out because I'm an idiot. 7 visibility is pretty darn good. We'll set our visibility to 7 here. Um, we get flares. We get one flare. Well, I don't really care about that. Wind direction is going to be 1 straight south. So we can throw the one flare out and it's going to float south on us. So we'll put it in our northern group. Um, let's see here. We're fanatic morale. So we get three rerolls and we come in at plus one morale, which means we're all going to be bold to begin with. we are. And we need to decide who's going to arm and handle what weapons here. So one machine gun is going to be run by Bucko with red being the loader. Um, red is here. So I'm, stop it. Red is the loader. We'll put Bucko on that. And give him a 1919. The other one is going to be Bax with Thumper, me being the loader. Bax. His weapon skill sucks, even though he's my Browning guy. So we'll give him the 1919 to give him some experience. Bazooka. I'm going to have Cookie handling it with Hollywood handling the loading. So Hollywood's going to handle the ammo, and Cookie's going to handle the bazooka. There we go. I'm going to have Mad Dog, Rocky, and Boxcars together. All right, Boxcars goes with Rocky and Mad Dog, and then we'll have Cowboy watching over Doc and Killer.
We've got to set up. Well, let's get our cards. We get four cards. We've got a trip. Can't think straight. A discard. And smoke going across the battlefield with pretty good initiative. Save that. Um, one friendly can increase by two levels. <laughs> we'll no, not be doing that. Crappy initiative. Can't think straight. No planning. And a trip. We don't want a trip right away. We'll do that later when we don't need to move anymore. Because it's got better initiative anyway. We'll take... Can't think straight because we're not going to be planning right now. We have to set up between 24 and 28. We're pretty darn far back. I'm going to be using my inspiring skill again. So I'm going to put him here. My machine guns, I intend to put on 1406. That's going to be my best machine gun. I'm going to put him here at 24. And my other machine gun, do, 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 here. I'm going to put here on 1409. I'm going to put him here. My bazooka team, I'm going to set behind. They're going to move up and centralize here. Because um, the Bocage is impassable terrain. When the tank comes forward, it's going to run into that Bocage and it has to either go north or south. So it's either going to skirt up here north and try to, this is blocked all here and he'd be boxed in here. So he has to go up here or else he has to flank south. So if I put my bazooka team into this clearing and wait to see which way he goes, we can try to get a shot on him. My last group is going to cover my southern flank down here. I'm going to put him down here. And we're going to just here. We're going to move up and try to keep an eye on this southern flank here. If I have to, I can reinforce with my other group here with Mad Dog. So we'll use them as our reserves after they've inspired. So the very first thing he's going to do is inspire all these guys who are already bold to be aggressive. So my machine gun team here is going to be a 7 plus 2 is 9. And here 6 plus 2 is 8. We're going to lose two for the dark, but we got fairly good visibility. Seven hexes is not bad at night. Got our three rerolls to help, and we got one lucky guy down south here. Where's my lucky guy? There he is. Hollywood's got a reroll, and he's with the bazooka ammo. He's also got a fairly good rifle skill to back them up if they get into trouble with the infantry. All right, we're facing a group of twenty-two. So let's magnify this a bit. 22, and they also have fully supported functioning armor, so that's 26. Their max confidence is 26. They're going to come in as bold. Half of that is 13, minus 1 is 12. And then a quarter of this is 6, that's 5. I come in with 12. Half of that is six, but I'm going to come in bold, so that makes this five. And a quarter is three, two. Because they're coming in with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, yeah, twenty-two of them. Uh, 
I've already got them in here. They're low quality. So they get 5, 10 through 18, but they also get a sniper and a machine gunner. And then the five dummies. So let's draw them in. Because we're set, we got our initiative. They're going to come in at 1. 103 to 106. Pretty far north. 103, 104, 105, 106. 2, 2 to 2, 6. Three, four, five, six, a real mosh pit. Three, three, two, three, six. One, seven, one, eight, one, nine. Two seven eight nine three seven eight nine All right, that should be twenty two of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one, twenty two. It's like I know math or something. And they also get a vehicle. They get a German Panzer A. All right. They're going to come in with. HE loaded in their gun, in their cannon. The commander is going to have his cupola open. Everybody else is shut up. We need to get our German crew. We've got a driver. Ooh, he's an excellent driver. Co-driver. Gunner. Pretty good gunner. Loader. Crappy loader. And a pretty good commander. Probably going to want to kill him. Send Panzer A. I said send you to Panzer A. All of you, please, go to Panzer A. Thank you. So there they are. Boom, boom, boom. And their initial orders. The commander's going to be on spot. Gunners none, loaders none, drivers ahead slow, six. And loader is none, co-drivers aim fire. That looks like everything there. We need to put this tank marker on the map. We can close this up, we can close that up, and the tank is supposed to go in 208 facing 5. Two oh eight is Bocage, and that is actually impassable. So I'm going to put them in 207, facing 5. Well, he's trying to get out of there. 
he's got to work on getting out. He's got rocks, which are impassable. He's got bocage, which is impassable. He's going to be having to work for a while. It'll take him a while to get out of there. Give us time to get our bazooka up and figure out which way he's going. I need to give everybody their orders for the Germans, but that is not what you're worth watching. So what I'll do is I'll pause this video here, give them their orders, and set up initiatives, and we'll get the first turn off after I finish with my lunch. I'll come back momentarily. Okay, I'm back again. So I've given all of the Germans their orders. And um, nobody's going to have line of sight because visibility is seven and we are far, far away. So there's two things we need to do before we can just zap through turn one. The first is determine which deck we are playing with because I do have my deck. We have the regular deck and we have the experienced deck. On a roll of zero to four, 50% chance we use the original deck. On five to nine, we use the experienced deck. We're using the original deck with a roll of one. All right, next we need to give them their initiative so we do this and then we draw one for the tank 77 71 sorry I cannot read um, the initiative order doesn't really matter because we're not going to come into view of each other so I'm just going to play out all of these moves, but first, one last thing. It's nighttime, it's dark, and we have to roll a TQ for all of our guys in defense to see if they are alert or not. They have to pass a TQ check. If they pass a TQ, no problem. If they fail the TQ, they cannot do anything this turn. And if they roll a nine, they're asleep. And I'll probably use a reroll on a nine. Now, with the machine gun team, if my gunner is alert, you'd think that the assistant gunner would be, but he might be tangled up with his equipment. You know, not ready to move. So Bucko needs a seven, passes. Um red needs a three. Does not these guys cannot move. Well, I can move my machine gun up, but then I can only sneak it. And sneaking is better than nothing, I guess. But then he'll be able to sneak. It's a wash. I'm just not going to move this turn. So they don't have an order. They don't have any orders right now anyway. These guys are all hidden. Um, hide them. These guys have no order. Our bazooka. We have a six for cookie and a five for Hollywood. Six for cookie, five for Hollywood. They both pass. They're going to be given evade orders. I'm just going to give one for the team. They're going to move together. Um, here we've got Mad Dog with a four, Rocky with a four, and Boxcars with a five. Mad Dog, five. Boxcars, four, and f passes. Um, these two guys are going to get evades.
but my leader, Mad Dog, has no order. Here, um, Bax is a six, Thumper is a four. They both are okay. They're going to get an evade. I only need one for my team. Down here, I've got five, six, and four. Five, six, four. They're all fine. They're all going to get evades. Okay. There we go. That's everybody. Not everybody could move. Okay. So this machine gun can't move, which is annoying. These guys can move, so they're going to move. One, two, three, four. These guys are going to move. One, two, three, um, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Spread out a little bit. These guys will move. One, two, three, four. These guys are left behind, not able to do anything. These guys are evading. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. These guys are also hidden. I wasn't able to do my little inspiration trick right now because I couldn't give him an order because he's stumbling around. We can move them all theirs. We're going to do them front to back to eliminate as much mosh pit as possible. Evading five. One, two, three, four. Sneaking five, four. Five, four. Evading five, six. Five, six, five, six. Evading five, six. Five, six, five, six. Evading six five. Six five six five up onto the hill. Evading five. One, two, three, four. Sneaking six. Sneak, sneak. Evading five six. Five six five six. Evading six five. Six five six five. Underneath here. Evading six five. Trying to put him to the just a second. Back again. Continuing. Evading five six. Evading five. One, two, three, four. Evading six, five. Six, five, six, five. Evading six. Evading five. 
You're eating six. You're eating six. You're eating five, six. You're eating five. And he ducked back, you're eating six. You're eating six. Getting six. Sneaking five. Okay, and the tank has on it a slow ahead six. So he would have to turn. Need go six. But then when he tries to do it the next time, it's six. And the only order that would have worked was five, six. So if he's six, then five, six, he's stuck. And then he goes and he goes counterclockwise and he moves five and he goes clockwise and he goes six. And there's the tank there. There. That is that turn. I'm not going to get up here in time with my machine guns. It's going to take me one, two, three, four. They're probably going to evade. I'm going to have to use one of my machine guns as a backup because he's really out of the action here. Oh, and I didn't give anybody my flares. How many flares did I get? I think I just got one flare. I have to give it to somebody. I don't want to give it to somebody with an automatic. We're going to give it to Boxcar. Yeah. Remove the moves. Remove the orders. Impulse is back to one. Discard the cards. Turn goes to two. These guys belong down here. Turn goes to two. Roll for reinforcements. And nine. So they do get reinforcements. So we got to put the reinforcements on. Reinforcements. Defend. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten on column one. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Give those a quick roll for orders. Nine. Sneak six. Next one. Seven. Sprint, which is evade six five. Next one. Seven, which is evade six five. Next one, two, which is evade by six. And last one, nine, which is sneak six.
they go up five more. One, two, three, four, five. Half of 31 is 15, 14. Quarter of 31, 15, 7, which is 6. That's them. These guys belong here. Um, that's the end of turn one. We kind of got off to a slow start. They're already pressing in on us. We could try to get, it's going to take me two turns to get a machine gun up there. I think we should just lay back and let them come into this field. We're just going to sit down with the machine gun, try to get our other machine gun up here up here to keep an eye on this flank. We'll guard this field. Um, we're not too bad on this flank. We'll come up this way into these trees. My bazooka, I've got to wait for that tank to come up to see what he's going to do. They're actually pretty centralized now. We're going to keep them out of trouble. All right. That's impulse one, or turn one, with a few interruptions. I will see you guys next time.